Hey up, hope you're well. Uh, I just wanted to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Um, thanks very much to each and every one of you that supported me over the last year. It's meant an awful lot and it's been unbelievable. So thanks very much. Um, I've put together a quick video and basically it's a channel review if you like. It's got a little bit of everything in from where we started just over a year ago with the pond here. Um, how this has progressed and how all the new stuff's come on. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, again, thanks all for your support. Um, I, I can't quite believe where the channel's gone and where we're going as Ecosystem Koi. Um, exciting times, looking forward to 2022. I hope you all stay safe, uh, look after each other and have a great festive period and we'll see you all next year. Thanks very much. Hey up. 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 So I wanted to do a quick breakdown of the pond that I've made during lockdown. Um, I wasn't sure what it was going to be, to be honest, a wildlife pond or uh, a koi pond, ornamental pond, and as it turns out, it's sort of somewhere in between the three. Everything that I, I paid for just for the pond. And it came in at a grand total of £3,091. So here's a filter. So you can see the pressure indicator, which is a little orange tab that hasn't moved up. Um, I believe I've read that's just to indicate when it really, really needs to clean. Um, like I said, I've left it for 10 weeks to establish. So now I'm going to, uh, I'm going to attach the waste hose. Uh, it is an auto clean, so in theory it should be turn it over and it should do its thing. So the water level's down, and that's because I finally got round to add in the new multi bay. So it was a bit of a pain. I did film parts of the install, but when I look back at the video, it was mainly just me swearing a lot. Um, so I, I thought, best not put that in. Hopefully, turn this raised bed, the long one there. Hopefully I'm gonna turn that raised bed into a vegetable stroke bog filter. So you see that's the Cajun pond for uh, a growing structure, if you like, so we can do tomatoes, um, various climbing things. Um, now it's just the liner really. I don't know whether to do that today, I might leave that till tomorrow now. And then I added this bog and we've had to cut all this back now. Well I say all of it, we've cut the strawberry down and we've cut the tomato down because it, it went absolutely mad. But we've got some good fruit on it. Hey up, hope you're all well. Well as you can see we've got something a little bit different today. Uh, I spoke in the last video about uh, a small side project I've had going on. Well this is it. Um, my wife decided she wants to try maybe growing on some fries. She, we start, she started off looking at breeding, um, but I, I think as a first step we'll, we'll try growing some on first. Uh, really quick video this week, I'm just going to do the winner of the giveaway. I was giving away the Blagdon air pump. So there we are, that's what I'm going to give away. Um, let's see what weight it is. Right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Um, I will open it up. Uh, to everyone because to be fair the amount of support I've had with this community from all over the world is uh, it, uh, it's really humbling I've got to say a massive thank you to all the new and old subscribers I've now hit 500 it, it's remarkable I, I can't thank you all enough hey up hope you're all doing well so this week we've got the giveaway uh, remarkably, I opened it two weeks ago, and remarkably, we've gone from 900 to 1,000 in that two weeks. I, I can't thank you all enough. So those that follow the channel will know I've got these two tanks set up in here, um, and it's for growing on fry, obviously. Uh, me and my wife discussed. We enjoy it so much. Uh, as a combined hobby, it's really nice to have something with your wife that you, you both enjoy. 
Um, and we spoke about whether it was going to be possible to expand what we were doing and maybe uh, take it a little bit further. So that's what we that's what we're going to do. So hopefully by April next year, April 22, um, we're going to go into business uh, selling on koi, and they're all going to be uh, what we've grown on. And the idea is. Obviously, we enjoy it so much, so we're, we're going to get back from doing it. But the idea is being able to offer um, koi for everybody, make make it easily accessible for everybody. So, a quick one. That's the tanks in. I tell you what, that one with the window in, oh, I've got some weight to it. But we got it there in the end. Absolutely quality. If you've never seen these, they are solid. So I'm not going to have the warping or cracking problem with these, I don't think. So you see 4 inch bottom drain. I went 4 inch on them all. That there, obviously room to put the dome in. There's a dome going on each of those. I'm going to keep the grill on that one. So yeah, 2 inch return. Already fitted. Yeah, absolute quality. So this is day two. Tanks arrived yesterday. And they're in a bit of a different state than they were when I left you yesterday. So what I've had to do on the air source heat pump. I don't know if I've shown you that installed yet. I don't think I have. So that there's the air source heat pump. Mounted on concrete blocks. Nice and level as you can see. Um, and that's worked to treat. But you put a bypass in with the, the air source so it can be taken out. They ignore all the cabling. That, I've got to sort that. Um, so what I've had to do is tweak the flow with these. Because again, even on the lowest setting of the vary pump, it would still pump too too much. So it would end up overfilling the tanks, if that makes sense. I know what I'm talking about anyway. No bugger else does. So a quick one this week. What all I'm going to do is give you a quick rundown now all the tanks are installed and just show you where we are basically show you what we've done Look at these little hungry fellas uh, and you can see the setup just about I say complete it's running as complete as it's going to be it's just lots of um, lots of decorating now basically lots of landscaping that boxing that in that's stumping me at the minute I will think of something but I don't know what yet. So anyway, stop waffling. Got a light in there as well. So that's all nice and nice. These fishes are doing well. They haven't been fed yet, so we'll be wanting some grub. Uh, as you can see, that's all boxed. I've got some for these corners. You can see, because it's only like a PVC uh, tile effect, I've got some uh, edging corners that's gonna go down there. I have got the rest of the tiles to put on what I've got some I've got some waterproofing PVA so that will then go on here and coat the OSB and then stick the tile so sort of two birds with one stone 